Hello and welcome to Legend of Grimrock with Kamasama here. I just picked this game up with the Humble Indie Bundle number 7 and I decided to do my own let's play of this game. Uh, this game was released in early April. It's an indie game that is based around dungeon crawling and moving around on these tiles. I tried playing this on hard but that got very difficult very quickly so now I'm going to give you my playthrough on normal. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go to normal. We're going to play a normal and I want to create my own characters. Now this is based around other dungeon crawler games, you might, things like D&D &D and stuff like that. So I do have some experience with those sort of things. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and try one of these things on the computer. It sounds like a lot of fun as a computer game. I'm going to be playing as my D&D &D character, Heskin the Paladin. A fighter's not quite a paladin, but it's pretty close. Let's go for lots of hit points and lots of strength. And we want to put our combat in skills in swords, I think. Uh, actually, level three, level four, level four, level four, level four, level two, level two. So we're gonna put two in armor and two in swords, or one in sword, I suppose. Six traits. We're gonna go with. don't want our paladin getting hit very much, or being very tough when they are hit. That's not bad, evasive. Evasion 7, wow. Yeah, we're gonna make this the character that doesn't actually get hit very often. Dexterity, attack power. Healthy, tough. Go in ahead and actually we're gonna make you our damage dealer. Attack power. And instead of evasive, we're going to give you athletic to give you some more strength. Now we're going to be joined by a couple of the other Americans who are not in the game, obviously, because it's a single player. This will be Reckless. Reckless. And he'll be our Minotaur fighter. Our other backup. He can take that Minotaur skin, that'll be fine. Let's give you loads of hit points. Uh, your dexterity is awful, but it's fine. Your accuracy is pretty bad, too. And someone's just email texting me right now. Or Steam chatting. So let me increase strength. And I really want to put the one point dexterity to sell an 18 on strength. And let's see. So he's going to be dealing damage. He's going to be very tough. So let's give him tough and healthy. So he's going to be tanking for us. And Kellen's still chatting with me. Let me just talk to him in a moment. And we'll also be joined by another Merkin. We'll be joined by Kellen since he is talking to us right now, and he'll be our mage, so we can put on his wizard robe and hat. Give him some fire magic. And how about some spellcraft? Traits. Uh, let's give him aura for a bit more energy. Poison resistance skilled. Willpower. Not bad, not bad. I think I want to give him willpower. Yeah. Strong minds. The very last Merkin will be the ugliest of our group since they are the insectoid. Go rogue. We got a wizard, mage, fighters. This will be Stake. Not Streak, Stake. And we're gonna put. Let's see. Lot in Dexterity. So leave that as throwing stuff. Increases accuracy, some evasion, protection. Increase 
strength and some vitality. Assassination. Uh, I'm not so sure exactly how much we're going to be using of that. Backstabbing. Mm. Oh, level 12. Reach attacks, attack with melee weapons in the back row. Huh. I think that's something we should definitely look forward to. Daggers, stab, precise attack deals double damage. Nah. Improves rogue's offensive abilities. Thanks for now. Missile weapons. Maybe eventually. Thorn weapons and unarmed combat. Let's put it all in assassination, I think. And let's give you evasive and agile. And I think we're ready to start our game here. Oh, no. I have unused skill points. Who has unused skill points? Oh, there you go. Uh, let's give you maces. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay, so let's get started. Still unused skill points. Who's unused skill points? Oh, points left here. Oh, I forgot to improve our wizard. Uh, I'm tempted to put it all just in willpower. Oh, I guess not. Does the price increase as it goes up? Uh, or it just won't let us go past 19, probably. Uh, we don't need strength at all. Accuracy and evasion. Ni nice, nice. Because he's not going to be armored very much. And some hit points. We'll put two of each. Not bad. Mount Grimrock. A towering spire looms above the crowds. A weathered rock that has stood for all ages. Longer than the histories of men have been written. It is a desolate place now, only remembered when things need to be discarded and forgotten. An airship struggles to gain altitude as it floats towards the peak. Four prisoners, bound by heavy chains, emerge from the ship. The court accuses them of terrible treason deeds, but by the grace of the keen, their crime shall be given, shall be forgiven atop Mount Grimrock. The final trial is at hand. Numerous prisoners have received their pardons here, yet none have returned to live their life of freedom. They're at the very top of the world, and below them only darkness and justice awaits. As they are plunged down to the maw of the peak, their crimes are absolved. Everyone before them has perished in the guts of the mountain, but will you be able to lead them through the dark into the freedom that awaits at the base of Mount Grimrock? Now, I have actually played this game once before. Like I said, when I tried playing it on hard, I didn't get very far, though. Just because uh, I was actually surprised by how difficult the game got very early on. It's not an easy game. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Got a torch. A rope for the torch. Let's keep our mage on the right there. There's a nice cudgel there. Oh, some peasant's breeches and a peasant's tunic. So you can wear the pants. Protection 2, protection 2, it's the same. You can wear the shirt. And Reckless will take this cudgel for us. rock here. Open up the door. Let's go stick to the right and see what we can find here. Oh, sweet. Key. Just keep nicking torches. Oh, wrong person. You'll be carrying all our torches. Got another rock. Uh... Yeah, I don't know who's going to carry rocks. Our mage can carry rocks. Kellen's a geologist. He's into that sort of thing. So yeah, this game might look like a turn base once they get into some of the combat. Loose rock. 
so oh, here's a pressure pad right here. A little button. You can find some loot. Yeah, the comet looks like it's turn based, but it's actually all in real time. Which makes it a bit difficult trying to manage four people, but with cooldowns, it is possible. He's got a first enemy over there. Let's go ahead and take him out. I do already know the fireball spell. I got some boots. Leather boots. Some leather pants. Oh well, wow, there's just loot everywhere. In this difficulty. So Let's take the boots. Protection 6 in total. And protection 5 in total. Actually, let's give you the boots. Two. He's gonna be tanking everything for us. Throwing knife. Uh, you can hold on to that for now. Our rogue enjoys throwing knives. Uh, Back up. You really don't want to actually get hit by these guys very much. Oh, I missed that. Let's get a spell ready. Nice. Fire burst them. Some snail meat. Not quite the time to pick it up though. And we took him out. I think Reckless wants to hold all the snail flesh. Maybe because nobody else volunteered to carry it. Now I did leave a door behind. Oh, I don't want to go too far. Now, oh, some loot here. Some baked maggots. A couple more rocks. Let's keep these rocks in case you run out of mana. Some sandals. Protection one. And a loincloth. Um, we're actually going to give Reckless the loincloth here. It's like extra attack power, yeah. Only the most self-confident warriors can be seen in the battlefield wearing nothing but this garment. Well, he's wearing other stuff, but that's not my problem. These leather pants are better, so we'll give those to me. And our rogue will take these peasant's breeches. So it looks like we need another key. Let's go ahead and backtrack a bit and find out what was behind that door. Let me sell that snail. Okay, I'm getting a bit lost here. Oh, I know where I am now. Did we already get everything behind that door? Yeah, I think we did. Oh yeah, that's actually the way we took. Oh, what does this say? Loose rock. Oh yeah, I thought we did this already. Yeah. Huh, I am very lost now. Let's see, how do I pull up my map here? Oh, that's not what I want to do. is new I think. Choose your fate, perish in the cell I pick up Oh, this is the start. Oh my gosh. Put the rock 
down there. I think this is loose rock or something. No. That disconnects. That's loose rock. Let's take this torch. Let's keep taking torches. I guess, yeah, we didn't need to backtrack all that way. It's very stupid of me. So we need a key, and that's where I found the pants. So there's a trap door or something over there. Oh, we got a uh, pit root bread and another rock. Let's go in this door. Uh, there's a pit here. Oh, that's right. over there and nick the key. Heal my sights. 